Captain Emily Rydell is still in search of a solid hotspot to ignite her season. The season definitely got off to a rough start, but I am my own boss. It's all up to me to make the operation succeed, and that means I have to build on the momentum from last year and find ways to up my game. That's the goal this year. She hasn't made a dent in the 400-ounce goal she set for the summer. Hi, guys. We need to be making money. I need to be making money. We just need to have some sailing today. And last week, on her first trip out... Today, we're just going to a known coordinate where we found gold before. Emily tried to pick up where she left off last season on a pay streak known as the chicken wing. We're not getting away from this. It's dragging our bow right into it. But a rival dredge was already nesting there. Hold on! What? No! The rough seas sent her on a collision course. I just lost an anchor. Yeah. That ended her day early and gold free. <laughs> oh, sorry. Now, with her hot spot from last season clear of competition. I feel good about today. I'm gonna kill it. Emily can finally pick up where she left off, sending down lead diver Bob Hafner. Right, let's see what we can find down here. And this summer, she has another reason to fill the coffers. My siblings, they all have kids. Way up north, man. What happens? My brother and his family are moving back up to Alaska, so I'm using a portion of my profits from the season to help them get settled. All right. You know, today I just I just want everything to kind of be calm and chill and for us to make a little bit of money, you know? Somebody's already been there, and they've picked over the best of it. It's very frustrating. I don't want to give up on it. Chicken wing is a lot of river channels kind of going through the lease, and rivers can have high concentrations of gold deposits. We could try to go to the west. Let's see if we can go another town. Copy. Let's move this lady forward. The eastern edge of the river channel is picked over, so Emily is repositioning the Eroica to the west, hoping to reconnect with the pay streak. We have to find a new spot, like a seam of concentrated minerals that pretty consistently produce gold. All right, we're gonna take a walk around down here, Em. Yeah? We'll give it a shot here. Let's get this 400 ounces going. Found a little bit of a spot here, kind of some edge. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. There's a little bit of extra ground here. Ugh. It's not just my operation. My divers have to make money, too. I have to make sure that the boat is on producing ground. How you doing down there, Bobs? I'm gonna take a look here for a second. See if I can get through this cobble. It's tight, so it seems old. With the Eroica finally uncovering promising ground. I'm gonna come up, I'll be right there. See you at the top. It's time to grind. 
Jeff gets to take it over now. So into the water goes seasoned diver Jeff Orzakowski for another six hour dive shift to keep the gold flowing. You okay, Jeff? I'm good. I found some good it Looks like um, it's beautiful outside, it's calm, and uh, I think we're gonna grill up some lunch here. Good day to have a burger on the boat. Hopefully this will start out our season good. Yeah, yeah, dude, we needed a day like today, man. This is gonna be a good spot for us. Hopefully it'll pay for a while. I wanna do better than I did last year. It's necessary for me, for my family, for my crew. I have great divers, and Chase has been a rock for this team. He'd like to try diving this year. Hopefully the spot is um, gonna produce, and hopefully we'll, you know, we'll stay there the rest of the season. gold right here. First clean out of the year. Hopefully Always. we're not going to set the bar too high. <laughs> After finding fresh gold on claim 14, Captain Emily Rydell is cleaning her first pay dirt of the season. This cleanup, I'm feeling good about it. I think there's a chance that we got at least 25 ounces in the box. The smelting process is cool. I mean, every part of it is great. She's smelting her gold to squeeze out every last bit of profit smelting it. It's a way to get a lot of the impurities out. You can get a higher cash payout if you smelt your gold because the, the purity is higher. It's time to do the pour into the mold and then um, hopefully the impurities should settle in the cup. Uh, this is a lot more pure than if they were to get just raw gold. There it is. Once the gold is melted, and rendered into two solid bars. It's the moment of truth. Oh! What is it? 1275. Put them together. We got bar two. 2425. Nice. Really nice. 24.25 ounces is worth nearly $29,000. Every time we do it, we get more gold. It's weird. A strong payoff to a rough start and proof the captain knows how to find the hot spots. The gold is there, and kind of we're back on track for the season. It's a good start, but there's definitely room for improvement. If we stay on that spot, Mother Nature cooperates, we'll be good to go. 